You wake up and check your phone. It's 2022. The 2021 season was officially last year, but you can't help wondering how things would have panned out if just a few things went differently. You either feel happy at the results or let down. You either look back at the events with rose-tinted glasses or anger. So what if 2021 went differently? <laughs> What if, in Bahrain, Lewis Hamilton had not been allowed to extend the track? What if Max Verstappen didn't have to hand the position back? If Max had won that race, would he have gone into Imola with a different mindset? What if, in Imola, the red flag didn't come out when Lewis hit the wall? Would he have still been second? Would Imola have been Russell's first points? If Hamilton had not scored in Imola and Max had 51, how would the approach be different into Portugal? Would Max have been less aggressive? Would Lewis have been more? Would Spain still be Hamilton's 100th pole or would Mercedes have already written off the season? Would we go into Monaco with Max behind or would Lewis have the chase? What if Mercedes got their pit stops right? What if Leclerc could start the race? And if all that I've asked came true, then who's to say that we wouldn't have Bottas in the title hunt too? Maybe it would be domination by Max. Maybe Lewis would be in range. Maybe without those bad pit stops, Merck wouldn't ask for change. Maybe Verstappen's tyre didn't fail in Baku, maybe Lewis didn't leave the road. Would Lewis have come second? Would Baku be a 1-2? Or would Perez wind up third? Maybe going into France, nothing would be left to prove. Max would make turn one, but with everything to lose. Austria would be the same, but what if Bottas didn't spin? What if Lando didn't get penalised when Perez was next to him? And if the curbs weren't as abrasive, would Lewis have still been fourth? No, he wouldn't. He'd be second, same as he was the week before. And now, the big one, both off track and on. If Verstappen had backed out in the same way Lewis had done earlier in the season, then would he have finished in the wall? If Lewis had slowed down a bit, would he have still won the race? It's a race between two drivers, and neither one to lose, but someone has to give, and at Cops, it was Max. If it didn't rain in Hungary, would Max still have been hit? Would there still be a red flag? Would Ocon have won, or would it be a Mercedes 1-2? If Mercedes finished Hambot, would third place be Ver? After Hungary, we took a break and then headed to Spa. The Belgian Grand Prix was more dummy than Grand, but how would Max's advantage have looked if points were scored in full? In the Netherlands, we'd see no change, but in Italy, we have more questions. If Max hadn't had a 12-second pit stop, he wouldn't be right next to Lewis. Likewise, if Hamilton's pit stop wasn't slow, too, then would Max have even caught up? If Lewis won the race from Max in second, then how would we be looking going into Russia? If McLaren hadn't won that race in Italy, then first would never be explored. Lando may have still taken pole in Russia, but what happened left him with no reward. Okay, I'm really not good at this whole rhyming thing. I'll stop now. But what if it did? What if the rain stayed away in Russia and Lando won from Lewis? Max was somewhere in the midfield before the rain hit, so Lewis would have taken a huge chunk from Max's advantage. McLaren, if they won in Italy too, would have probably scored enough points to seal third in the championship. After Russia, we had Turkey, but what if Japan wasn't cancelled? Japan was thought to be a track that favoured the RB16B, so would Bottas have otherwise won the 16th race of the season, or would it be a Red Bull win? And if Red Bull had won that round, then would Red Bull have a Constructors' Championship lead? And assuming we still went to Turkey, would Hamilton have finished as low as he did if it wasn't for the defending of Sergio Perez and Yuki Tsunoda? I personally think he wouldn't, and that he would have at least taken third. These would have been crucial points for the championship, so Max certainly has a lot to thank Yuki and Checo for from this race. The US Grand Prix was another fairly run-of-the-mill race, but what if in Mexico, Sergio Perez was able to get past Lewis Hamilton, which he arguably would have managed if given a few more laps? What if Verstappen didn't get as good a start as he did, and what if he hadn't been left as much room as he was going into turn one? And what if Bottas wasn't spun around? Would he have been able to stop Perez from getting that podium? Would he have been able to play a strategic role in stopping Verstappen from getting that win? If Max hadn't won here, then he would have had a deficit to Lewis going into the final round, which could have made a big difference. And in Brazil, what if Hamilton didn't get that fresh engine, but still got that penalty? Would he have blitzed the field in the same way? And what if he got the fresh engine, but no penalty? He would easily have dominated, but would Mercedes have been able to turn the engine down to prolong its life for Abu Dhabi, where they reportedly had to turn it down for fear of losing it? What if Verstappen got penalised for running Lewis off the track? How would that have affected Qatar? Max got hit with a penalty in Qatar anyway for speeding under yellows, and after taking P2 in quali, he was dropped down to 7th. He fought his way back up in the race and brought it home in 2nd. But what if he started alongside Lewis? Would the two drivers have collided? Would Max have taken the lead or would the result have been the same? And what if Perez was able to pass Alonso? Where would that have left the result? 
Alpine would be without a podium, that's for sure. In Saudi Arabia, we have our biggest what ifs yet. What if Verstappen didn't crash in qualifying? Surely he would have taken pole, but that's not where points were scored. In the race, I'm sure we all remember what happened, but it does make you wonder how things would have panned out if Max hadn't cut the track and if he and Lewis didn't then crash later in the race. And then what if Max had been deemed to be fully at fault? Instead of having received a penalty that didn't change the result, would he have a grid penalty for Abu Dhabi? And what if Lewis wasn't allowed back past and Max won the race? Both are possible options and we'll never know what could have happened. Ultimately, I think the right result panned out, but at the same time, we'll never know how things could have been different. Finally, the biggest question of them all, Abu Dhabi. I'd written off any chance of the title by this point, and when Verstappen took pole, I suddenly got a glimmer of hope, which would disappear by turn one of the race. But what if Verstappen was the one starting on the inside for the Grand Prix? Or what if Lewis was made to give the position back after cutting the chicane? And what if Perez wasn't in the right place to defend against Hamilton? Would Lewis have been able to take a pit stop at the end of the race? race just as Max could? Would it have been Lewis on the fresh tyres with Max on the old ones? And what if there was more clear race direction? There would surely have been a chance for Max to get close to Lewis even without the few lap cars out of the way, but as well as this, there could have been time for all the lap cars to get out of the way if Massey acted quickly enough. Both of these options would have left whoever won the title with no doubt over how it was won, because as it stands, every Lewis fan out there will forever bring this title up as one that should have been Hamilton's, because he should have won that race. And what if Red Bull didn't spot the issue with Sergio Perez's car at the very last minute? Would that have led to a red flag, or would the race just have finished under safety car? If it were to be a red flag, Max would have the inside for turn one, but with Lewis on brand new tyres as well, would it just end up with Lewis driving off? This whole season has been one of questions, and there was so much more to it than just the questions I've asked. Because if certain questions I've asked came true, then Lewis could have sealed the title before Abu Dhabi, just as Max could have done if another set came true. But to ask what if is always going to be a flawed argument. That's like a Haas fan asking, what if we won every race? Sure, it could have happened, but it didn't. Even so though, last season has been crazy. We saw a true championship fight for the first time since 2016, and even if Lewis won, I wouldn't be complaining. I do, however, see why Team LH are angry. I would be too, if Lewis had won in the way Max did. It just isn't fair. But at the same time, though many are saying that it was manufactured, for a championship battle to rage from the first lap of the first race to the last lap of the last was insane. I will continue to wonder what could have gone differently, but at the same time, I wouldn't change last year for the world. As always, thank you for watching. I've been all over the place mentally recently, so I guess making this video has been my escape from everything, and I've really needed it. The day this video comes out also marks two years since I started on YouTube, which is pretty cool, I guess. I've got some fun plans for this year that I can't wait to share with you, and yeah, thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you all later.